G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. A whole bunch of fast multiplication tricks right now. I hope you enjoy them. So the first trick we're going to have a look at is multiplying by 11. So say for instance, 11 multiplied by 134. This is equal to as follows. The first digit, we just put the first digit down here, so it's a one. The next digit, we add these two guys, one plus three is equal to four. The next digit, we add these two guys, three plus four is equal to seven. And the last digit, well, we just write down the last digit, which is a 4. Our answer, 1,474. What about another one of those? Okay, what about 11 multiplied by 2,471? Okay, let's go through. First digit is going to be a 2 here. The next digit, we add these two guys together. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. The next digit, we add these guys 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one of the parts of our 11 down here, but we're going to carry that next one across here. So the 6 is going to become plus 1 equal to a 7. The next digit, 7 plus 1, is equal to 8, and the last digit is the 1 here. So 11 times 2,471 is equal to 27,181. All right, let's get on to the second trick. So the second trick is multiplying by teen numbers, such as 13 times 12. How we do this is as follows. So we're going to look at the end two digits here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to get one of these, the 2, for instance, here, and we're going to add it to this 13. So 13 plus 2 is equal to 15. That's the first part of our answer. For the second part of our answer, for the units part here, we are just going to multiply these two digits. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So 13 times 12 is equal to 156. What about to give another one of those a go? So what about we do a bit of a harder one now? What about we do 15 multiplied by 19? And we'll see what that equals. Okay, so we have the units parts here, the 5 and the 9. 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. Now what we're going to do is 5 times 9. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. So the 5 part of the 45 is going to go here, but the 4 is going to be carried across. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Our answer is 285. So that's a nice little trick too, right? And it works for any number in its teens, up to 20. Okay, so let's look at the next multiplication trick. Okay, what about now for this next trick, we'll look at multiplying bigger two-digit numbers, and then we'll have a look at multiplying three-digit numbers with one another. Let's start with a nice easy one, 23 multiplied by 12. Now, to get the units part of our answer, we're going to look at the units part of our question, and we're going to multiply them. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. To get the next part of our answer, we're going to do a bit of rainbow multiplication and addition. I'll show you what I mean by this. So we get this nice rainbow shape here, okay? We have 3 times 1, which is equal to 3, and 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. And we're going to add those two together. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. That's the tens part of our answer. And then finally, to get the hundreds part of our answer, we're just going to multiply the tens parts here. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Our answer, 276. What about I do a harder one of those? What about we do 14 times 23? I'm not going too hard yet. I'm going to keep these fairly simple today. So let's get the units part first. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. You get this idea. We're going to put the 2 part down, and I'm going to put the 1 up here to be carried across. We have 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. And to this, I'm going to add 3. Okay, 1 times 3 is equal to to 3. So adding these guys together, we get 11. 11 plus this 1 here, this is going to be 12. I'm going to put the 2 there and carry the 1. Finally, to get the last part of our answer, 1 times 2 is equal to 2 plus this 1 here. Our answer is 322. Hey, that's not too bad, right? What about now we do the bigger ones? So this is how I'd go through now and multiply bigger numbers. Say I had 132 and I wanted to multiply by 214. And I wanted to do this directly. I don't want to be having a whole string of things here. I want to multiply this guy out directly. Now it's pretty simple, and this is the pattern we're going to follow. You're going to see this. We're going to multiply these guys, then these guys, then these guys, then this, and then this. You'll see this pattern as I go along. So first off, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 
The next one, we're gonna multiply these two guys and we're gonna add our results three times four, which is 12, plus one times two, which is two. 12 plus two is equal to 14. I'm gonna put a one down there to carry. The next one I'm gonna be doing these guys, I'm gonna have this star pattern once again, one times four, three times one, and two times two. Four times one is equal to four, plus three, plus four. Four plus three plus four is equal to 11, plus this one here is 12. Put the two down, carry the one. You probably got this next part, we're gonna be going the star now across here, but now we've moved across to the hundreds and tens. One times one, and three plus two. Well, that's one plus six, which is equal to seven, plus this one here is equal to eight. And finally, we're just gonna multiply the two hundreds ones here. One times two is equal to two. Our answer, 28,248. Okay, let's round out this list with the last multiplication trick here. I don't use this next one so much, but it still is a pretty cool trick, okay? So this is the way this one works. Say, for instance, I wanted to multiply 46 by 44. This trick is pretty specific, and that's why I don't use this one so much. You has to have a couple of things that you fulfill. The tens numbers have to be the same. So in this case, they're both 40 numbers. The units numbers have to add up to 10. Like I said, fairly specific, but pretty cool, right? So anyway, this is the way this one works. To get the first part of our answer, we're going to get this 40 part, and we're going to multiply it by the next number after 4, which is a 5. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. To get the second part of our answer, we're just going to multiply the two units parts together. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 46 times 44 is equal to 2024. What about we give that a go one more time? What about we go 83 multiplied by 87? Okay, as you can see, the tens numbers are the same. They're both 8. So the first part is going to be 9 times 8. 9 eighths are 72. For our last part, the numbers add up to 10. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. And that's our answer, 7,221. Anyway, in another video, I'm going to also show you a whole bunch of tricks to do with squaring as well, and some different ones to do with percentages and things like that, so we can group them all together. Anyway, tell us what you thought of that video in the comments, and if you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to be a real pal to tech math, you can always become a patron. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.